Hey guys! So I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general, they're for the collective. So if anything here doesn't resonate for you, just leave it for someone who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in Tarot. I'll pull two separate energies in this spread. The first I'll call your energy, the second should be your person's, but if they fit better than the opposite, just switch sides. And the same goes for cross watchers. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you need to book a private personal reading, all that information is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. As always in these readings, I will pull first your current energy, then your person's current energy, and we'll look at the next couple of days and what's coming up for you guys. Can you tell me about Aquarius in love, please? Okay, we have let your friends help you. Seems like... Like we might have had that recently, right? <laughs> Interesting. All right. Overall energy is the Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Eight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Nine of Swords, at the bottom of the deck we have the Empress, Libra Taurus Energy. I mean, I feel like we're looking at love and like choices that we have made, reasons things have ended. And I feel like there might be a recognition that we might have like a little bit of a temper issue that we struggle with, huh? Um, a bit of an impatient energy. It may also just be like the struggle to really like find peace, you know? Um, <laughs> so I feel like there's some healing that needs to be done before we really move forward anywhere. And we're kind of trying to hold back from doing that. It's kind of, it's like we know it's a lot of baggage. We're carrying it around. It's heavy, but we have other stuff to do, right? And, uh, I feel like there's just like a, a real like nervousness about love. Um, almost like an avoidance. It's, it, you know, maybe relationships are just really stressful for you and you're like, maybe I'm better without it, you know? But at the same time, there's some crazy attraction here.
And of course, this is a, a newer person. We have, you know, the Ace of Cups, the Empress. They both signify new. But I, I just feel like there's a, a bit of an insecurity or a fear. And... Some baggage. Tell me about this Queen of Wands person, please. The Two of Swords. The Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. The World. Four of Cups. The King of Wands, the Two of Cups. So I feel like this people really this person has like two individuals kind of fighting for their attention. The, the both of you have decisions to make, you know, so it's, it's like two single energies. But apparently, you, you know, there's an alignment there, the king and the queen of wands. But this person, it's like they're almost like allowing people to sort of compete. It's not, you know, not like a triangulation thing. It's sort of like trying to figure out who's the best fit. The thing with this person is that they're looking for this two of cups, ten of cups type of situation. And so they're basically anybody who's not on that train with them is is out. They, they don't, it's just a person who's very serious about what they want. At the same time, they are at a crossroads. They're not really... It's just nobody is making any real decisions here. So I feel like this is more of like a, a person that's technically your friend. And you it's like you, you kind of like them, but you're like terrified of love. And they're just like, I, I don't have, you know... <laughs> I don't really have to make a decision on love. Like I'm only going to choose a person that's trying to get to this. And so, you know, I'm just, I don't know, I guess single and dating. Which really technically is your thing too, but I feel like, like you really only kind of like deal with or talk to this person. Okay, so what's coming up? Why is this relevant? Okay. So the overall is the Seven of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Three of Wands. Strength, Leo Energy. King of Pentacles. Three of Swords, the Star, Aquarius Energy, the Six of Wands, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups.
I feel like there's this recognition that like resistance here is kind of the problem, right? So like say that, you know, there, for you, it's like you're still heartbroken over a situation and you're still kind of trying to heal from that, but you also feel like this is your person. And it's kind of like a speak now or forever hold your peace. They're looking for one specific thing. And obviously, you know, they're attracting other people as well. But I feel like you somehow in the current, and despite all this struggling, you sort of balance out this idea that almost like your ego is just in the way. You know, it's kind of like a all this fear just comes from that. It's like self-protection, but sometimes it's wrong, you know? Uh, because I feel like this, there's, there's just a connection with this person that's different than other people to you. And you recognize that, like, if you don't show any interest, if you don't, if you just sit around and wait, there's a possibility that this person would just dissipate, right? Like, they'll just go. And there's, like, a real recognition that we only, you know, get back what we put out. Like, if somebody doesn't even know how you feel... You know, what do you want from them? They can't read your mind. In the advice, we have death, which is Scorpio energy, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. We have it's time to take action, which is Aries energy. Bottom of the bottom of the deck, we have it's time to release negativity or Scorpio energy. We have light. Look to the space between the trees for answers. And reconnect secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods so again it comes back to this fear right and where these changes need to be made within yourself to get to this more comfortable time to get things to to work in your favor um reconnecting with the self and, and that was already happening here. It was like the struggle to find the peace, but moving into this idea of like, wow, I'm actually self-sabotaging out of fear, you know? It's not like, you know, this person's not showing up like there's some kind of jerk or like they, they just want something really specific that might even be a little scary. But, I mean... <laughs> we gotta kind of attack that that demon or you know this nine and ten of wands energy where there's just a and, and the eight of wands are here as well like just a lot of old weight to carry that doesn't serve you at all if anything it's hurting you here all right that's what i have for you guys oh and i i have this card it's time so just if there's some shadow work to be done, jump in. All right, see you guys soon.